Welcome people. Welcome to Bratislava in Slovakia. We've just arrived here from a Flixbus journey. Uh, that'll be the previous video. If you haven't watched that, you can see how we got here from Vienna in Austria. And we're due to explore this marvelous looking city. Yeah, we're very excited. It's a beautiful day, as you can see. And uh, we're not far here from the river Danube. I think that's how you pronounce it, or the Danube. And uh, we have an apartment booked. So we are due to go and visit that apartment. And on the way, have a little look around the city and then drop off our bags and go for a proper exploration. I, really, I think we're on a bike path, guys, so we probably better get off of this. So let's start making a move and them guys can figure out where on earth our apartment is. So this is my first time in Bratislava. It's my first time in Slovakia, actually. I've been to the Czech Republic um, and I've spent a few days learning the language as well. Uh, well, I'll say a few days, two days because there's so many similarities between Slovak and a few of the other languages that I know that uh, there's not that many problems uh, with learning the language. So what do I know so far? So we have, they're still over there. We have Dobry, oh, what was it again? Dobry Rano, which is good morning. Dobry Jen, which is good afternoon. Um, Dobry Veče, which is good evening. And I don't know how to say good night. Dobru Nots, something like that. Dobru Nots. Um, thank you is Jakuje, Jakujem. Have a nice day is Pekni Den. Um, delicious. So if you want to compliment someone's meal is Kutne. Uh, goodbye is um, Dobrodzenia. Um, what else do we have? We have please which is prosh, prosim uh, can i have which is mojem mojem si i don't know for instance mojem si jednu pizzu prosim which is like can i have a pizza please um dva is two three is three so i know a couple of the words enough to get by uh, so hopefully i can impress a few people with my poor pronunciation so i do apologize if you're from slovakia and i've just butchered your language but i've only been learning it for a few days so you must forgive me but we're going to go off and uh, find our apartment and if we see anything interesting along the way we will show you okay so we've already walked into our first problem which is that we've got off on the wrong bus stop it seems we should have got off on the uh, central bus station and we've got off well not there and uh instead of being 14 minutes away from our apartment we are now 40 four zero and we have to purchase a uh, a ticket to get on the tram but they are coin operated only um and even if we were able to do that there are no tickets machines around this place that we can see so we're gonna have to go and look for a ticket machine see if we can purchase a ticket to get on public transport otherwise it's a 40 minute walk to our apartment which uh that's not too bad it's not that far so we'll see how we get on okay luckily we found a ticket machine not far from where we were standing and uh we uh have a few different choices here so this is the reduced fare which we don't obviously get because we don't have a reduced card. This is the basic fare for 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, 24 hours. So probably better off just getting 24 hours and you can pay by card as well. So yeah, if you want to pay by card, make sure to click that because uh, we got stuck on that bit for a few seconds there. There's a bloke standing behind us waiting, bless him. I was like, prepatch, which means sorry, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it, prepatch. And he said something, so I don't want to be too much of a dumb tourist <laughs> so we've got to get on the number 50 but wow look at that beautiful got to get on the number 50 and uh we're going to uh make our way over to our apartment shortly but there you go here is our 24 hour ticket for 480 which in pound sterling is for 410 and i'll put the us dollars up oh, might as well quickly show you now in us dollars that comes up to in US dollars, that comes up to, oh, I'll tell you on the screen. The uh, the signal here is very, very bad for us on our mobile network, which is Libara. Carl's having a better time. He's on, what are you on, O2? O2 he's on O2, he's having a good time. He's on 5G. Me and Tam, we're, we're struggling. <laughs> right, let's get to this apartment. Okay, so here's our bus. The next stop is Safarikovo Namestie. Right, so we're riding our first Slovakian bus, and uh, yeah, so far so good. 
some very nice uh, some very nice scenes along the way as well. Um, so you, you don't have to show the ticket to the driver or anything. It seems I think you might have to all, like stamp it in though in one of these machines. So I'll have to check that with someone, but we do have a ticket nonetheless. So hopefully that'll be evidence enough that we are allowed to be on this bus. So, um, oh, blimey. <laughs> Another cool thing you can do is uh, you can actually pay via this machine. Like you can press, choose like English and explain like how it works in English. So that's another option as well. All right, so there's the bus, uh, bus ride done. And we are a five minute walk away from where we are due to stay. We're in a place called Du... <laughs> du Lovo Nam? Du Lovo Nam. Maybe that's how you pronounce it. More than likely not. So we're just going to find our way. But uh, <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Man, that, that bus driver, he was crazy, wasn't he? He was. <laughs> he was, it was like, <laughs> he had to literally grip. <laughs> literally, as he was driving, we were gripping on for our lives. It was like, wow, dude. But he was playing some Metallica, so... I gotta give him credit, he was he was he's got a good taste in music. So a few other useful phrases if you come to Slovakia. And again I do apologize if I pronounce this wrong, but uh this is my best informed guess. So one thing you wanna say if you uh don't know how to say something in Slovakian is uh or you wanna know if someone can speak your language, preferentially English, because I don't know how to say it any other way, you'd say uh hovorish po englitsky. Okay, so that's, uh, do you speak English? Again, pronunciation's not great. To say, I don't speak Slovakia, you would say, ne hovorim po slovinsky, which is, uh, I don't speak Slo uh, Slovakian. And uh, another useful one that I pretty much learn in every place that I go to, in this, in this case, is, uh, možem platit katu, which is quite similar, actually, to a few I'll get the sunlight out, there we go. Uh, quite similar to a few other variations. So in Croatia, it's Mogli... What is it? Mogli Platiticatum. Or is... Katitsum. Mogli Platiticatum. And um, in Poland, it's uh, Czemoga Platiticatum. So you see what I mean? There's similarities. Um, and then in Croatian, for good morning, it's Dobre Jutro. But then obviously here in Slovakia, it's Dobre Rano. Dobre, good. Very similar. So yeah, it uh, makes things easier to learn. Once you kind of know a few of the basic phrases, you uh, kind of know a couple more. For instance, uh, to say yes is Ano in Slovakia and no is yeah. And I think that's the exact same in Croatian from what I recall. So uh, yeah, useful phrases. I've not used all of them yet. I did ask a, a guy if he could speak English and he said, yeah, so he must have understood what I meant. But uh, yeah, let's get to this apartment and see what it's like. Press OK, press. Oh, we're in, we're in. That, people, was the most difficult check-in I've ever done in my entire life. We were literally going round and round and round and round and round in circles. The instructions were literally as long as my arm. Here we go. They were the craziest instructions. No, six. <laughs> so we're in the elevator. <laughs> Let's go and look at this apartment. So I managed to go to the wrong uh, place. We are, uh, went to the wrong floor. So let's go and have a look. All right, we're getting there, people. <laughs> this is this has been a tough. This has been one of the tougher ones. I'm hoping it's worth it. You will witness the uh, the place with us. Let's see what it's like. That's the name of the apartments, if you're curious. Oh, there's a keypad. <laughs> there's a keypad. Look at this. Yeah, and it's crazy instructions. Right, okay, give us a second, people. Here we go, people. So we're in the room. We finally made it, and my word, that was the most difficult check-in I've ever done. Even the even the door has a fancy security code, which we needed to figure out. But look at this. This is mental. Very, very nice. There's a balcony as well, and a uh, a rather decent-looking bedroom. Let's go and look at this balcony. All right, so got an old balcony. 
pretty decent view. Good old drop. And yeah. Just realised we've actually got a, a second one as well. Oh no, I'm opening that wrong. <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go. <laughs> can never get them doors right. So I've got a little table we can sit on, which is, I don't think you make it out. It's quite dark. You can just about to see it, a table. Not a terrible view either. Not the best either, but yeah, it's pretty damn good for what we paid. We'll tell you how much on the screen, but yeah, that's the place we're staying in. Oh yeah, can't forget to show you the bathroom guys. So, oh, there we go. <laughs> Got a nice mirror, little sink. Look at this, little, little wet room kind of thing. There we go. And a nice toilet, very good. Can't go wrong with that at all. All right, so that's the apartment. So we're gonna head off now. We haven't got long, much daylight left. We've got like an hour and a half. So we're gonna go off and go and see the castle. And then we are gonna go and have a general look around and then go and get some food and see what traditional Slovakian food is like. Let's do it. <laughs> 